following presentation is for mature audiences only. Who are you? He's a fine man. All hell is broken loose. He's a great broadcaster. He's a very powerful guy. Absolutely brilliant. Feared by men, adored by women. He's a smart boy. It's patriotic. It's no big deal. It's the end of the world. I might as well tell you now. He's a monkey. And how you doing, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages? Welcome into another edition of The Wild Side with Eric Clark. I'm your host, Eric Clark, saying thank you for taking time out of your busy day to hang out with us on the east side of Nashville. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Hit that like button. Hit the notification button. Help out the algorithm, man. If you have a band song video, something you want me to check out, the best place to get your suggestion to me, Discord server. Get over to the Discord server, subscribe to it. Right on the left-hand side, you'll see a tab that says YouTube Reaction Requests. Read the rules, because we have rules. you got to have rules. Read the rules about it, and then drop a link and a brief description of your suggestion right there in YouTube Reaction Requests. It's all right there, the Discord server linked down below. Before we get started today, thank you to Connect 200 Music to See and Aunt Betty's Nut Butter. Today's suggestion is coming from Jorg. I, I, I never know if I'm saying dude's name right. He says I am, but I don't think I am. <laughs> so Jorg has suggested I get back with Epica. It has been a while since I've heard the dulcet tones of Simon Seaman. So today we are back with Epica, and the track is Unchain Utopia. It's on the wild side. Let's check it out. Bucky's. That's good.
That is the epitome of symphonic gothic metal right there, dude. That <laughs> That's textbook symphonic metal. And here's why I say that. So that is Epica, Unchain, Utopia. <sighs> One of the best parts about that that I, I found anyway, again, I you know, these are just my opinions. Doesn't mean anything. This and 50 cents won't get you a cup of Barris Brothers Packer Perk coffee. <sighs> it's just my opinion. Um, what I dig about this performance, what, I, what stood out for me anyway, was for having two guitar players, they sure weren't the leads. They perfectly played both rhythm and lead subtly. They were right there, just barely below the surface. Meanwhile, the bass and the keys and the drums are the driving foundation of those earth tones. Really good interchange and play with the drums and their time changes. When going from chorus to verse and then the double rolls, really super subtle. Again, the song is just dripping with subtleties, yet it's also commanded with obviousness. But the drumming for me, similar to the guitar, had this really good ebb and flow in this track. So there were moments when it dominated and then moments where it, it, it fed the future, which is what it's supposed to do. The drum and the bass are the ones that are really building the bridges and the foundation and the drive and the impetus and motivation behind the track. So when you're following them along, sometimes you can, they can be a little too heavy in some points. That is perfect balance with the interchanging. So when Simone is, is dominating... And I'll get to that in a second. Everybody plays right below that surface. And she's harmonizing with those keys. I love that keyboard player. That's the dude that flies up and down. Has the uh, Is he the one with the, um, <laughs> with the flying keyboard? Is he the flying Dutchman on the rail? Is he the one? I'm pretty sure he is. So let me know down below. Um, but yeah, I love that dude. Great harmony between she and those keys. Because her... I might be wrong. I'm not a vocal coach. I, I, I'm... I've just been paid to speak for 30 plus years. Um, she may be one of very few, if not the only person I've really heard who have struck this wonderful balance between operatic and symphonic metal vocalist. Right? So, so you, you, hear, you hear it, right? but she doesn't really stay in one place too long. So she's not operatic the whole time and she's not symphonic metal the whole time yet. There's this really cool ether in between where she exists. And I found that really interesting and the control that she has while making that transition. So she's transitioning from one to the other within the vocal, right? <laughs> like, come on, man. That's almost cheat code vocally. Like, did you hit the right buttons or something? How'd you do that? To seamlessly, smoothly, and subtly go from the operatic edgings of your vocal when shaping the sounds and controlling the air, and then suddenly float back into that very smooth, transitional, dominant lead metal vocalist. Just absolutely incredible how she maintains that really good, thick, rich texture throughout that delivery. And I'm, I'm almost positive that's recorded live. So you're not hearing what are called onsets, which is I actually call them. Someone told me they were called onsets. I call them ramps and drops this is what I call them. When singers are singing live, sometimes depending on the singer and the demand being placed on them, you will hear a ramp into a vocal or a drop at the end of the vocal because they're live. There's no studio to compensate and fill that in studio and get it right the fifth or sixth time. So sometimes you'll hear the little hit or the eh. Amazing. Amazing. Right from the beginning, right to the end, everything is thick and rich. There's a width 
to her tones. So that tells me that she is a master of her instrument. Not only is she a master at the breathing, because that's what's creating that thick richness without the drops and ramps, is, is her breathing ability. But the control here, there's a lot going on. So her control is what makes that transition so subtle, yet for me, I find it the unicorn in the vocal. Just incredible. One of very few people that I've heard able to do that. So very well done. Thank you very much, Jorg, for that. It had been a while since I'd seen or heard some Epica, so thank you. I appreciate that. Again, if you have a suggestion, best place to get your suggestion, over at the Discord server. Let me know down below everything I need to know about Epica, Unchained Utopia, the performance, all the players, everything. Let me know down below. Educate me. You are my Sherpas up this mountain of new music of mine, so I rely on you to guide me along the way and don't leave me a freezing corpse halfway up. All right? So do me that solid and head over to the Discord server. Get your suggestion. A Drop a link with a very small description into that sub, and I will get to it when I can. So thank you very much, Jorg. Thank you to Connect 200 Music to See and Aunt Betty's Nut Butter. Thank you to all of you for taking time out of your busy day to hang out with us on the east side of Nashville. Make sure you're looking out for your neighbor. Make sure you're looking out for each other. Try to do at least one good thing a day. I am Eric Clark, and this has been The Wild Side. <laughs>